All right, welcome to lesson 10.4. We're going to be multiplying polynomials in this lesson. All right, so we have to remember about the distributive property. All right, we distribute that 7 and we get what, 14x plus 21y minus 7. Here we have to distribute a negative 5, so we get a negative 5x squared plus 20x minus 10. Right? When you multiply things with the same base, you add the exponents, x to the 10th. So when we multiply these, now we multiply the coefficients, 8 and negative 3 are coefficients of negative 24. We, of the powers, we add the exponents, x squared plus times x is x cubed, and y times y is y squared. Remember, when you don't see an operation, it always means multiply. So we have negative 24x cubed y squared there. All right, so we're going to be multiplying polynomials. So in this example you see right here, you have a binomial times a trinomial. And it's really advanced distributive property because you have to multiply everything by this red x there. So x times x squared, x cubed. x times 2x, 2x squared. x times 5, 5x. But you also have to multiply everything times this th green 3 there. So 3 times x squared, 3x squared. 3 times 2x, 6x. 3 times 5, 15. And then you have to combine your like terms, right? There's no x cubed terms, but there's a 2x squared and a 3x squared, which make 5x squared. There's a 5x and a 6x, which make 11x. And I really just taught you the lesson. All right, so let's start here. So we're going to right have 3x out there so 3x times x squared 3x cubed right add the exponents 3x times 5x 15x squared x times x x squared 3x times negative 2 negative 6x and notice it just since i wrote it in descending order of the exponents of x it came out that way so let's do this one we're going to multiply everything by negative 2x so this is negative 6x cubed right we're multiplying those coefficients negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x and negative 2x times negative 1 is plus 2x all right here we have 4y squared times negative 2y squared negative 8y to the fourth 4y squared minus xy minus 4xy cubed, right? There's 1x and then we add the exponents for the y. 4y squared times 3x is 12xy squared. So now here, right, we're doing, this is what I showed you in the example. You have to do everything by x there. So let's start with that one. So x times 3x squared is 3x cubed, x times 2x, 2x squared, x times 5, 5x. Then we're going to multiply everything times this 1. That's certainly easy. 1 times 3x squared, 1 times 2x, 1 times 5. Then we look for like terms, right? So we have like terms. We don't have any other x cubes, but we have x squared. It's 2x squared plus 3x squared, 5x squared. 5x plus 2x, 7x, and plus 5 is 5. All right, so we're going to multiply everything times 2x. 2x times x squared, 2x cubed, right? x times x squared, 2x times 3x, 6x, 2x times 7, 14x. Then for, we have to multiply everything by negative 1. So we get minus x squared, minus 3x, minus 7. All right, we look for our like terms because now we're adding. And we have 2x cubed, but 6x. I messed, did I mess up here? 2x cubed plus 6. This is a squared, yes. 2x plus 6x squared. So 6x squared minus x squared is 5x squared. 14x minus 3x is 11x, and then minus 7. Okay, so let's do, keep doing. I'm just going to show you more examples of this. So everything times x squared. So 3x, x squared times 3x squared, 3x to the fourth, right? Add the exponents. x squared times y squared is x squared y squared. 
then we have to multiply everything times y squared. So y squared times 3x squared is 3x squared y squared. y squared times y squared, y to the fourth, all right? Ooh, we have x squared y, that's very sloppy, but x squared y squared plus 3x squared y squared. So the answer to this is 3x to the fourth, add the like terms, 4x squared y squared plus y to the fourth. Let's try this one. Now normally x is first, numbers is second. We want to show you just in the opposite order. So 6 times 9 is uh, 54. 6 times negative x minus 6x. Okay, and then x times 9 is 9x. And x times negative x, negative x squared. Okay, so we can combine our like terms and you get 54 plus 3x minus x squared. But if you look in for a textbook, you're going to put this in descending order of the exponent of x. Negative x squared, right, because it was minus, plus 3x plus 54. Area is length times width. Let's say that's the width and that's the length. You multiply the two sides. So when you write this out, right, you have to use parentheses. And we're going to be doing exactly what we've been doing. 2x times 3x squared is 6x cubed. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 4, negative 8x. If you're hearing something in the background, it's raining outside today. Plus 3x squared plus x minus 4. And we're going to combine our like terms. There is no 6x cubed, but 2x squared plus 3x squared is 5x squared. Negative 8x plus x is negative 7x minus 4. All right. Now, in this situation, you can multiply this in any order you want. I'm going to do it this way. I'll do this way first. So that's 2x plus 2, right? Now, you don't multiply both of them, right? Like, if you were doing 5 times uh, 6 times 2, right, you would just do 5 times 6 and get 30, and then multiply that answer by 2, right? So don't distribute it to both of them, all right? You must distribute to the 1, and you get 2x plus 2. That's really the tricky part of this, all right? So that's all you need to do, and then you do what we've done, right? 2x times x, 2x squared. 2x times 3, 6x. Then we're going to multiply these guys. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6. You combine your like terms, 2x squared plus 8x plus 6. Now, I want to do that in a different order, just so you see that it can be done in any order you want, but only multiply each combination once. Say you wanted to just do that part, right? You would do x times x, x squared. x times 3, 3x. Then you multiply 1 times x, x. 1 times 3, 3. Now, we could combine our like terms. You get x squared plus 4x plus 3. But what we haven't done is multiply it all by 2 yet. And if we multiply it all by 2, you get 2x squared plus 8x plus 6. You get this same exact answer. And you could multiply the 2 times the x plus 3 first. It would all get the same answer. Commutative property is still true and will always be true for addition and multiplication. All right, so let's clean that up a little bit. And let's try another one. All right, so I'm going to do 3 times x minus 5, so that's 3x minus 15. And then I multiply that times x minus 1. 3x times x, 3x squared. 3x times negative 1, negative 3x. Negative 15 times x, negative 15x. Negative 15 times negative 1 plus 15. This is 3x squared, negative 3x minus 15x, negative 18x plus 15. All right, so let's write this out because you, you don't want to distribute to both these x plus y's. This is a little tricky, all right? So this would be 3x plus 3y, or notice, times x plus y. 3x times x equals 3x squared. 3x times y, 3xy. 3y times x, another 3xy, because you write the x before the y. 3y times y. 3y squared, you combine your like terms, you get 3x squared plus 6xy plus 3y squared. 
And again, you could multiply the x plus y first and then distribute the 3. All right, so operations are closed if you uh, get the same thing that you started with. All right, so let's show this example. These are polynomials, and it turns out when you add polynomials and subtract them and multiply them, which we've done, you always get another polynomial. It might be a monomial, it might be a number, but when you divide polynomials, you don't always get another polynomial. And we're going to show you this. And this is called closure. So we're going to simplify. We're adding these. So that, right? You add, that's a monomial plus another monomial. I didn't put parentheses around it because it's not necessary. And that's 11x squared. So we added two monomials. We got another monomial, but we got another polynomial, right? A monomial is a type of polynomial. If you subtract, two polynomials, you'll always get another polynomial, all right? When we multiply 10x squared times 5x cubed, we get 50x to the fifth, right? We add the exponents. That's, we multiply these two monomials, you get another monomial, a polynomial. But look here, when you do this, right? And we've done this, now those are being divided right we get 2 over x and you're not allowed to have x in the denominator that's not allowed in polynomials all right not allowed in polynomials there is no x in the denominator in polynomials all right we did this but the answer was not a polynomial all right that's called the closure part so that we would say that division is not closed All right, so let's practice. So distributing the negative 6, 24x cubed minus 18xy plus 12x. I'm getting. Distribute the 5y squared, 40xy cubed minus 15xy squared plus 20y cubed. Okay. Here you have to do distributing of both the negative 2x and the 1. So we get negative 8x cubed minus 6x squared plus 2x. And then we distribute the 1. And we get plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 1. And we finally get, we combine our like terms, we get negative 8x cubed minus 6x squared plus 4x squared minus 2x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 5x minus 1. Again, these you can do in any order. Just make sure you multiply each thing once. So that's minus 10, right? 5 times x minus 2 is 5x minus 10. And then we can multiply that times the x plus 4. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times 4 is 20x. Negative 10 times x is negative 10x. Negative 10 times 4 is negative 40. We combine these like terms. 5x squared plus 10x minus 40. Which operation is not closed for polynomials? Division. All right, you, when that, what that means is when you divide polynomials, you don't always get another polynomial. And we're not going to be dividing polynomials in this unit. We're going to save that for... Uh, your high school class. Now we will be simplifying fractions with polynomials, but we're not going to do all of division.